I left this little note for Caleb today. I hope you like that. Um, okay, so I was gonna tell you that. So I've been playing this game. I'm not like a big video game like person, I guess, but like I play apps on my phone and there's this one app that I've been so competitive with um, my boyfriend he's playing it too and he keeps getting a score higher than mine and then I work for days to get like above him and then I do and it's so great and I'm so happy and then it takes him like an hour and then he's above me he's above me again so last night I was trying so hard to to beat his new high score and I can't do it and it gets me so mad. I don't get really mad about things or frustrated about things unless I'm like really bad at them. That's kind of like my Achilles heel I guess is that I, I hate not being good at something. <laughs> And so I keep trying over and over and over and over and over and over and I don't stop until I get the score that I want and I didn't get it. I haven't gotten it yet. But I'm, I'm putting it on hold, obviously, for a little bit. But here's to beating him. Maybe I'll sh I, it's hard to show you because it's on my phone and play it on my phone and I record on my phone and so but maybe I'll play it on my iPad or record my phone on my iPad or something and I can show you the game but <clears throat> oh gosh I hope I can make it through today I have the worst headache and stomach ache and I'm nauseous and just blah and I don't know it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be I'll get through it. It's it's just one day, right? If it's worse tomorrow, we'll deal with that then. But for now, yeah. Okay. I gotta get to work, so bye. I'm done. You got your baby. Yeah, I've been stuck at a train for 25 minutes trying to get to my next patient and the train keeps, just keeps going forward and then backwards and forward and backwards and it's a super long train and there's no other way for me to go <laughs> so this is what I'm dealing with I was able to have a little bit of lunch though while I've been sitting here so that's something and I am feeling a lot better. I was feeling kind of yucky this morning. Um, I still don't feel 100%, but definitely feeling better. So, um, and I actually only have three, three more kids today. So we're getting there. <sighs> I don't know if I've um, explained the state of my car that I have this little ant issue and there's these little tiny little black ants that have just been kind of like living in my car and they keep getting worse and worse and worse and I've tried everything to get rid of them and nothing is working so um I don't know what to do uh but one of my parents that I see she was she suggested putting mint on the car because ants are rejected by mint so they hate it and so they leave and I think that worked a little bit because there's definitely a lot less than there was um but it's still they're still here so I don't know what to do I think I need to look it up I haven't tried that yet ah I'm just really waiting for this train to go because I'm wasting gas and I'm wasting time and I don't know if I should try to go turn around and go a different way but this train track goes pretty much the whole way down there's, I mean, there's really no other way. So, yeah. 
these glasses make me are like totally crooked. It's annoying. Anyway, I don't know if you saw the last house I was at. Um, the little lab there who was laying with my, one of my patients. Her name is Delight, and she's a service dog, and she's the sweetest thing. And she makes me miss my puppies because I had two labs, a yellow lab and a chocolate lab. And they passed away last year. So, yeah, and I had them for 15 years when they died. So, yeah, I just miss them. And I can't get another dog right now, though, because with my brother there living in the house with me and my nephew living there, there's just too much going on to add a puppy to the mix and I'm way too busy so but one day one day it'll happen um all right well I'm just rambling because I'm stuck at a train but I'm gonna go back to my listening to my podcast and just maybe find another route okay bye empty Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Sitting. <laughs> Let's try that again. Good morning. Uh, this is Thursday. It is the day uh, that I'm taking care of Caleb from today through Saturday because my brother has um, a conference slash course for work that he has to go to, which he does every now and then, as I do every now and then for job, for our work. We need to continue education hours, etc. But he's gonna be gone for the next couple of days. So i um, taking Caleb to school today and tomorrow, picking him up. Uh, so it just adds a little extra fun to the day. Um, so I gotta go wake him up, but he's usually very um, slow to wake up in the morning. I mean, he's not a morning person. Who would be? I'm not a morning person. So yeah, that's what today is going to entail. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hope you guys are having a great day today. It's almost Friday. It's almost the weekend. We can do this. I just left one of my patient's houses and I am just glowing because it's not often that in my profession what I do it's not often parents or people really acknowledge anything you know that we do and, and that's okay I mean it's not expected at all but I had a parent just now who um, told me that she was really happy with me and she really hopes that I stay around a long time and continue to work with her son for a very long time and just wanted to know what my birthday was so that she could celebrate me and it was just so kind and, and nice and um, the funny thing is is we, we don't speak the same language. We have separate um, interpretations of things, but we can always communicate through Google Translate, typically, is how we, we talk. And it was just a nice moment that we had. So I just wanted to share that to document it for myself and remember it and just, you know, sometimes it's nice to look back on things like that um, to remind because the job can get you know drain, like really hard and so you know it's nice to have moments where it can be worth it you know for things like that I don't know but I'm just so grateful for her because she is a very sweet and kind woman and it was hard for her to find the way to express that so yeah so here I am going into the next one and I should 
get onto that. But just, I hope that you guys remember to also share and appreciate the people in your lives and tell them because they don't always know and it's just nice to hear once in a while. So I think I'll find a moment to, to do the same for someone. it's so bright um the kid has dropped off the little nephew so he's happy and good took a video for um his dad hi daddy i'm having so much fun with my <laughs> yeah so i have some time before i have to get to work so i'm gonna go to the store yeah so i have some time before i have to get to work so i'm going to go to for a little walk because the weather is pretty nice right now it's like 76 here. Um, I mean, it's early, but still. And yeah, I'm going to get that in. I'm so happy because I love being outside and walking and doing things like that. And I don't often get a chance because things are so busy. Uh, so it's nice when I have this little break to do that. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to a little nearby park, I guess. It's actually more of um, just like a neighborhood but it has a a pathway around a little lake so that's what I'm gonna do Again, now feeling a bit wet but it was nice and I really like coming here because it's so peaceful and quiet there's not a lot of people here and there's so much water and trees and everything so that was cool um, now I'm just trying to decide if I should go home get ready for work and all of that or if I should stop on the way and get some Panera. Was it really ever a choice? Welcome to Panera for 99 cents. Get any bakery treat with the purchase of a... Good morning. 
morning. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Hi, I'll have the avocado, egg white, and spinach sa sandwich. Okay, anything else? Also a blood orange lemonade. A blood orange lemonade? Yeah. Anything else? That's all. Did you have a Panera card? Yes. Go with the number. Oh yeah, I got a dollar off. Well, it's much later now, and I'm done working, and I'm going to pick up Caleb, but it is raining cats and dogs. I was going to take him to the park after school, but I guess that's not going to happen. Um, I'm in a sauna. I'm in a sauna. And, um, okay, well, here we go. Also, I just wanted to say, um, <laughs> I, I listened to a podcast called My Favorite Murder, and I'm kind of, I get into stuff like that, like, um, you know, I like forensics and detective work and mysteries and solving crime and things like that but um, my favorite murder is kind of like a it talks about real murders but it's also got a comedy aspect anyway I was just listening to it and it was cracking me up so I wanted to remind you guys to check it out if you haven't and I'll try to remember to link it but who knows if I will hopefully I will like that like saying hello like a video? No. Oh. What do you Say mean? Say today that this is the day that I dropped off Caleb. This is the day that I dropped off Caleb, and this is the moment that I just picked him up from school. And he's doing A-OK, -okay, aren't ya? Yeah. You had a good day. Yeah. Super cool. Now we're going to go eat, and I think we're going to go to the park because it's not raining Look anymore. Look at my cool trick I get. And i got to go. Bye. Okay, did you want to show them your cool finger trick you learned? You're crossing your fingers? Tell, tell them how you learned it. You just try it. You want to do I just wanted to do something different, and I figured it out. How cool is that? Smart boy. So fun. for when they fought in the war. And some men died. And some men got trapped in, in the camps and stuff. raining and there's a there's a shelter but it's not helping at all so I thought we would it was sunny and then out of nowhere the rain came back so we're we're I don't know we've just given up and we're just gonna get wet and fly and then take a nice warm bath when we get home and um, <clears throat> yeah so that's what we're doing he's playing with those little friends and she, they're the only ones here so perfect
let's do like... Oh my gosh, this is so cool! <laughs> so let's do just a little bit longer and then we have to go, okay? Okay. <laughs> Found a towel, so Kato got to wrap up and dry off a little bit. I'm still wet, but are you warm and cozy? Okay, good. We're gonna head home then. And guess what? What? I can even reach the air thing with my feet. Oh yeah? That's nice. Special. Oh, I turned it on. Why don't you put something in that's clear under the pumpkin so it's actually in that looks like that like is so clear that it won't that you can like see through it um, and it's like it's floating. So so that we'll see it. Yeah. Um, is what I'm gonna do and 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 they'll see through it and they'll be like. Because that will be the best pumpkin ever because it will have something clear on the and it will trick everybody. Whoa, that would be really cool. That's what I'm going to make. Do you think you're going to win or do you think I'm going to win? I think I'm going to win because it will be the spookiest pumpkin, pumpkin ever. How about we do a contest to, to see who can, be the, who can make the bestest spookiest pumpkin of all. That's a great, great, great the band -aid challenge. Band -aid came off. Another band-aid came off. No, all of them. No, all of them. Oh, boy. All right, we'll fix that when we get home. Will we make the turn? Will we make the turn? Whoop, whoop. Yay! Ah! <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> okay. I really meant to do that. Okay. You did really good. You got all the way over here. You made that turn. That was awesome. I, I stopped because I wanted to see the video. Oh, okay. Go play in more water. Oh, it's just water. Awesome.